Hello everyone, this is Manish and in this video I am going to show you that how we can deploy the upgrades via Intune. So the topics what I am going to cover is about the brief introduction to the Windows Update for Business though I have a separate video which where I have discussed in detail about what exactly is Windows Update for Business but I can give you a brief introduction on that. We will be also, also discussing about the kind of updates which we can control through Windows Update for Business and I am going to also show you about creating the Windows Update Ring and apart from that, I'm also going to discuss about the restart behavior so that you can predict the time that when your device is going to be rebooted, which consists of several settings which relies on defer update, deadline and grace period. Through a diagram, I will show you, I will demonstrate you. And then on, I can give you a demo which consists of verifying the Windows Update for Business policies. There are multiple ways through which we can verify the policy. And then we'll be giving you a demo then of how Windows Update for Business updates when deployed on a Windows 10 device or Windows 11, how it looks like, what will be the, the look and feel, the user notifications and those kind of those notifications we are going to see. Let's begin. Okay, let's now first begin with the topic that uh, what exactly is the Windows Update for Business. So Windows Update for Business is a completely a cloud-based technology where the updates are directly get, getting from the Windows Update. So once your device is enrolled to Intune, you will be you have a full you can fully provision your device to apply the Windows Update Ring or on the device to get the start deploying the patches. So what kind of updates you can deploy? You can deploy quality updates, feature updates, other updates, and driver updates. So when I'm talking about other updates, these are the updates which are related to their Microsoft applications which requires update so we that also you can deploy when it is enabled and uh, i'm going to uh, show you that how we can create the windows update ring let's begin i have logged on to the intune admin center and here you need to go to the device and go to windows so we are going to create the update ring so you can see you can see there are three options available update rings feature update and quality update so I'm not going to focus upon the feature update and quality update because that requires a, sp a specific license up for the update deployment services. You need to have a specific license for Windows 10, which I'm not going to discuss. So update in this video, I'm not going to discuss. So you can deploy the updates via the update ring that could be quality or feature update or any other update. So I'm going to show you through this. So let's click on the update ring, click on create profile, provide the name of the ring and click on next. Okay, so here you can see the moment I am into the settings of creation of update ring, the first option is Microsoft product. So do I want to apply the Microsoft updates? Let's click on block. So Microsoft product updates means any kind of Microsoft update uh, for the application, any kind of applications. It could be SQL Server, it could be it could be uh, Visio or any other products which you can deploy. So it also gives the option for the Windows drivers as well. So I'm just clicking on block just an example just to show you so we can deploy the windows drivers as well th through windows update and now there is an option called quality update deferral period so here in this option i can specify from 0 to 30 days you can see i am not able to specify the 31 days because you can defer updates only up to 30 days so for example here i am giving the option for 3 days so what it means is that the update will be offered to the device only after three days for for example the patch uh, gets released on second tuesday so only after three days of second tuesday it will be applicable for the device same way i can do it for the feature update as well let's make it three feature update different period three days uh, just for the demonstration purpose so uh, not for three days let's here let's make it 365 days for feature update, you can have up to 1 to 365 days. So feature update is a next version of uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11. So here it, they provide more of means a bigger time frame. You can defer up to 365 days. Now there is an option called upgrade Windows 10 device to latest Windows 11 device. I'm going with no, but this is also a good option where if you wanted to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. But of course you need to have a license for Windows 11. Now Another option is set feature update uninstall period. It is showing two to 60 days. So when feature update is getting, is, it gets installed on a device, it creates a windows folder. It creates the windows.old as the old folder where the, the OS moves to the 
windows.old and the new OS is installed in windows. So that folder windows.old will retain up to that certain days. So I can specify any days. It, it uh, allows two to 60 days. Let's make it 30 days for that windows.old folder. Enable pre-release build. I can enable that uh, pre-release build where I can go and uh, select the pre-release channel of beta dev. So this is for the testing purpose only. There should be a, a few devices only in your environment where you can test the pre-release version. So let's make it not configured. Under user configuration, I have an option that automatic update behavior. So auto automatic update behavior has multiple options to, to select. If I click on that drop down menu, so there are multiple options. So you can see notify, download, auto install at maintenance time, restart at maintenance time, restart at a scheduled time and re reboot without end user control. So there are multiple options. So let's say that I want to auto install at maintenance time. I'm giving a active start active hours as 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So this will this will be active hours and apart from after 5 p.m. it will become the maintenance time. Now there is another option restart check. I am making it allow. Allow is a good option. This you can see when I click on this icon it is giving me that what exactly the setting it is going to verify. It will check the if your laptop has 40% or more battery available the user should be present. So options to pause windows update. I would say let's click it dis uh, disable because I don't want option for the users to pause the ring. Options to check for Windows update. I think it's a good option that user can on their own uh, click on check for online going to the settings and Windows update. So it's a good option even though the update will be deployed automatically. Then there is an option change notification update level. So I'm going with the default option use the default Windows update. So you can turn off and turn on the, the, the you can turn off the option excluding the start warnings and including the start warnings as well. Now this is my favorite section which I would like to highly consider to look into it. That is use deadline settings. We specify the deadline settings and why I would prefer that. Let me show you. See there was an option of auto install at maintenance window, right? So if I specify the deadline now we can control the behavior of the update. For example, if, if system is trying to get installed during the maintenance window only and if device is not present at that moment, then what is going to happen? We need to force the compliance on the device so that the patch gets installed. So the deadline is a very good option. So I can see that uh, the deadline is asking for zero to 30 days. Let me specify two days for feature update, two days for quality update. So what does it mean is, I showed you that the grace period, uh, oh, sorry, I showed you that uh, over here that we have specified the deferral of three days. So patch will be available after three days. But what if, if someone is not getting, in, if device, if update is not getting installed during that auto maintenance time or there could be other problem also. So we are enforcing the deadline so that patch will be installed after two days of making it available and once the patch is getting installed we also wanted to give a control to the user so that they can have a grace period so grace period means that once the deadline is passed grace period will allow an additional two days of time with the pop-up notification for the users where they can go and restart their device so what i mean to say is that right after the deadline once the deadline is implemented grace period will give ample amount of time so that the device is not initiated the reboot is not initiated and there is an option called auto reboot before deadline i would say just to click on no why i wanted to make it no so that i want to have i can predict the correct time i just don't want it to enforce reboot before all three options defer deadline and grace period Click on next, next and assign it to, a, to your devices. I'm deploying to all Windows 10 devices. Select next and click on create. 
Okay, now let's understand the restart behavior of the device. I told you there are three settings available. Uh, one was the defer update, then deadline and grace period. All three plays the important role. Let's take an example for the second Tuesday. Let's take an example for the April month. So patch got released on second Tuesday. That second Tuesday is 11th of April. Now three things will come into picture. Defer update, deadline, grace period so i have specified defer update as three days deadline as two days and grace period as two days so we are going to see that the prediction that when the update will be installed and it will it will reinitiate the restart so 11th april the update was released but it will only be offered after three days so it means 14th will be the date because defer update is set as three three days so only after three days the update will be offered so on 14th of april the device might try to install the update may or may not install it all depends upon that auto install update feature it will not enforce it might try to install but it will not enforce but after two days of it 14th of april it is made available but after two days, it will finally initiate the deadline. The deadline will come into picture. And on 16th of April, the update is going to be installed. So because we have specified the deadline. So defer, it was it got delayed for three days. And after two days, it got installed. But even after the installation, the reboot is not going to happen. You know that the update requires to requires a restart. So for that restart, grace period will come into picture it will be providing another 48 hours for the device to get that patch installed so the patch will the user will get the notification that your device will be restarted after two days whenever it is made available and they will keep on getting the notification every now and then and it will become more aggressive when the day the final day comes and finally it will give you a notification in the, uh, before the reboot 15 days 15 minutes before to the reboot it will give you a complete prompt that your device is about to restart so on 18th your device will be restarting now i have logged into the windows 10 device let me see whether the windows update for business policy has been applied correctly or not there are multiple ways through which i can verify the first thing is i can simply go to the first thing is i can simply verify by clicking on start settings Go to accounts, access work or school and click on the connected to my domain or, or the tenant ID, click on info. So here I can see the multiple policies are applied to the device including delivery optimization and other things. So for me the important thing is yes, the update policy is getting applied which is giving me the confirmation that the the Intune is managing the update on the device. That is the first setting which I, through which I can verify. I can also check through the diagnostic report that what kind of policies are getting applied to my device. So if I click on create report, it is going to create the report under C users public documents MDM diagnostics. Click on export. So I'm just navigating to that location, MDM Diagnostics, and this is a report which is which on, not only uh, uh, which not only saves the information for the upgrade for but for all the policies the information will be here. So I'm interested for looking for the update policies only. Meanwhile, I can show you something, right? So the important thing for you for you to understand is that this this is the manage policy section this is the default value and this is the current value the first one is default value the second is current value for example for the delivery optimization default is one but i have uh, deployed two so keeping that in mind if i search for the update let's search for it so you can see the configure feature update uninstall period so default is 10 but i have configured 30. so this was the same setting which actually i did right same way for the pause quality update default is zero i have configured 
uh, also has zero. So I can also verify the setting by clicking on that update and security. And here you can see that our update has started downloading and it will be installed soon. But if I click on that view configured update policies, it is showing me that the schedule update installed a mobile device management. So it means it is coming through the MDM like Intune, schedule update and install time. So all these things are settings are coming through mobile device management. And finally, I can verify the same setting through the registry as well. Open the registry by typing registered and go to HKLN Software Microsoft Policy Manager Current Device and update. So here I can see all the policies are available over here. You can see the active start hour, active end hour. It is mentioned over here. The deadline for the quality update, deadline for feature update. Each and every setting is getting applied over here. So my policies are coming down via Windows Update for Business. I can see things are going good. I'm just waiting for the update to get installed and see how the it will look like so you can see if I go to the update and security the update is getting the download is almost complete and then the install will initiate meanwhile if I go to the windows update ring I can show you a few other settings as well that you can see over here that I can pause the ring pause the quality updates or feature update if I click on quality update, it will be paused for 35 days. I can keep on pausing the update until unless the issue is not resolved. So Microsoft provides the option of pausing the quality update and feature update. And you can also resume it once you see that things are going fine. And you have also have an option to uninstall the update. For example, last update is causing the issue. You can click on uninstall quality update. It will initiate the policy instantly and it is going to uninstall the update. Here I can see the update is installed and it is giving me the notification that it is going to be restarted by this specific date. And uh, I can start right now also and can reschedule also. So this kind of notification through Intune will be keep on coming to the user. And, and when the day approaches, it will also going to give you the exact time frame that this is when the update is going to be installed at this specific time. I hope you would have liked this video. Um, thank you so much.